What's up kids? I'm sure you're somewhat bored being stuck at home. I'm sure you're doing great things uh, with your schoolwork and everything. But we figured we'd just play a quick game. And we're about to have uh, a lot of these videos coming at you. We're going to have some devotional thoughts. We're going to have some funny times with Pastor Russ. Brendan is, is here. He got kicked out of college. I'm just kidding. He didn't get kicked out of college, but he's here. He's excited to teach you a song. But here, we'll play a real quick game. We've played this in Super Church before. Maybe you've played it. It's called Five Second Rule. So I'm going to give you a category that you can find a brother, sister, parent, friend, somebody to play with, and you'll race to try to be the first one to say three things that fit in that category. Okay, you ready for the first one? All right, three things to stay away, to not be bored while you're stuck at home. Go. Yeah, I couldn't come up with any either, but you know, here, here's a real one. Here's a real one. You ready? Okay, so you have five seconds, three things, first one between you and the other person to say it will win, okay? So three ways to stay cool in summer. Go. Did you get three things? Did you beat the person you're playing against? I hope you did. Here, keep score. If you won that one, you have one point. Let's go to the next one. Three things to do on recess. Go. Did you get three things? Maybe it's tied up one to one. Maybe you're sweeping them 2 0. Let's do one more and then we'll call it quits. All right, name three of Snow White's dwarves. Go. All right, who won? Comment below who won. Comment below if you couldn't come up with three of those things. Whatever, that'd be great. But now we'll go to Brandon, who's going to teach you guys a song. Hey, boys and girls, you have Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Sorry, Brandon. Sorry to interrupt. I got one more, though, actually. Okay, are you ready? Maybe this will retie it again. Hopefully, you still win. But okay, one more. So, name three Disney princesses. Go. Did you get it? Boys, did any of you get three of them? If you did, you lost. Sorry. Okay, back to Brendan. Hey boys and girls, you have probably been sitting down a lot this last week. No school, no job, no nothing pretty much. So we're gonna have you stand up. So hey, could you stand up where you are? I don't know if you're on a couch or on a chair or what, but let's stand up. We're gonna sing a song. All right, some of you know this song. We've sung it at VBS in the past. We may have sung it in junior church, okay? And we're gonna sing that today. All right, so make sure you're standing. We're gonna do a little bit of walking as we sing Walking in the Light of His Love. You ready? It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of His love. You ready to walk? Walk, walk, walk in the light of His love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of His love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of His love. Walking in the light of his love. Let's do it again. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of his love. How about an Egyptian version? Walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walking in the light of his love. Let's do it one more time. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. It's a great day to praise the Lord. Walking in the light of his love. Penguins, walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walk, walk, walk in the light of his love. Walking in the light of his love. Good job. You can be seated. I'm actually a little tired. I don't know if you are too. So take a seat. Good job. I assume you did a good job singing. If you weren't, hopefully you sing next time. All right. Good to sing with you, boys and girls. And now, a moment with Pastor Russ. Why is the gym floor always wet? Because players are always dribbling on it. Why was the belt sent to jail? Because it held up my pants. What's green and fuzzy? And when it falls off a tree, it can kill you? A pool table. Did you hear about the circus fire? It was intense. Okay, some of those jokes got me. I, I will admit it, some of those jokes cracked me up a little bit, though those were great. As always, Pastor Russ is comedy gold. Okay, but for now, take your Bibles. Grab a Bible. If you need to run around and find a Bible real quick, grab, grab one. Uh, we're going to look at Psalms, chapter 119, verse number 105. 
you know, Brendan leading a great song, teaching you a great song about walking with the Lord. And I want to give a quick devotion uh, just about that idea of walking with the Lord. So like I said, grab a Bible, go to Psalm 119. We're going to look at verse 105. Psalm 119, 105. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. This is a great verse. I'm going to read it actually just one more time for you. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. I want to encourage you in this time where you're home alone a lot. You're not home alone, hopefully, but you're home a lot. You're not at school with your buddies. You're not playing sports. Your schedule is probably a lot less hectic and busy than it normally may be. And I want to encourage you, this is a great time to really lock down the habit of Bible reading. You know, if you're with me in Super Church, I'm sure if you're there in Junior Church, even the teens, parents, we mention this all the time, how important it is to have a time where you're walking with the Lord and you're reading your Bible and you're praying. You know, you may be in third grade, you may be in sixth grade, and you're thinking, ah, I'm too young for that. No, you're definitely not. Is that whatever age you are is the perfect age to get started on the habit of walking with the Lord. And I love this verse, how it says that his word will be a light unto our path. You know, it's, we're going through a crazy time right now. You know, I know here at the church, we're having staff meetings just about every day because we're trying to figure out just how to move forward, how to, how to operate, how to do all these things. And I'm sure your parents and your families and Everybody's just trying to figure out how to move forward, and these can be somewhat scary times. These can be unsettling times. These can be some crazy times. But truly, we need to remember that God's Word is a light unto our path. And if you'll walk with God, if you'll spend time with God, if you'll read His Word, that's going to help you to get through these days. It's going to help you to get through your life. It's going to help you to, to trust in Him through these crazy times, to learn about Him through these times, to spend time reading about God's love and how He loves us, to read about the peace that passeth all understanding, to read about how God is gracious and long-suffering, to read about how He'll save the lost and how He's there for us and how He's our friend and our Savior and our Father. No, this Word contains so much that will be helpful to you through this time. And I want to encourage you, again, I don't care if you're in first grade, I don't care if you're a mom or dad, I don't care who it is. If you're not reading your Bible, if you're not spending time uh, in His Word, spending time in prayer for your family, for our church, for our nation, for those that are sick and hurting, this is the perfect opportunity to get that habit started. You know, you can, you're doing school in your PJs, your uh, morning routines, a, a lot more relaxed. Spend some time in God's Word. Maybe right after school, you know, where you're more awake, maybe that'll be a better time for you. Whatever the case is, get the habit going of spending time in God's Word. Maybe you read a couple chapters, maybe you read one chapter. Maybe you start at Genesis and read through. Maybe you pick a, a book in the New Testament or Old Testament there and study that and read that. However you do it, just spend time in God's Word. Spend time praying. Spend time walking with your Heavenly Father. It's a great time to walk with God. It's a perfect time to build that habit. And I hope that if you're not already walking with God, that you start and if you are walking with God, I mean, really just enjoy that time. Maybe this is a time to add to that. It's a time to even walk with Him to a greater extent, to trust in Him more. And I just hope that you'll take advantage of this opportunity that we have to walk with God and to really build that habit of walking with Him. All right, we'll see you in the next video.